Hi folks, welcome to this episode of Seasonal Cooking. Today we're making Lentil Sloppy Joes. To get started, we'll need one cup of dried lentils, a tablespoon of oil, a white onion, a carrot, a bell pepper, one tablespoon of chili powder, two teaspoons of garlic powder, one can of diced tomatoes, a quarter cup of ketchup, two tablespoons of brown sugar, one can of tomato paste, one tablespoon of Dijon mustard, two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, and a pack of hamburger buns. You will also need a pot, a skillet or another pot, a tablespoon measuring spoon, a one cup measuring cup, a cutting board, and a knife. To get started, measure out one cup of your green lentils and rinse them under running water. Next, add three cups of water to your pot and put in your rinsed lentils. Bring them to a boil and then turn down to medium and let them cook for 30 minutes. While your lentils are cooking, you can chop up all the vegetables that you'll need. So first chop up your white onion. I had quite a large white onion, so I decided to only use half. So cut this into little pieces and set it aside. Next, we're gonna peel your carrot and you can chop it into little pieces if you prefer, but I decided to grate my carrot. And lastly, it's time to chop up your pepper and then all of your vegetables are ready. While the lentils are cooking, you can open all the cans you're going to use and take out all of the ingredients. I like to do this and then put things away as I'm cooking, so if there's anything left on the counter, then I know that I forgot to add it to the recipe. I am a forgetful person and this really helps me, so hopefully you can use that trick too. When your lentils are done cooking, heat up oil in your pan and add your vegetables. Stir them around so they are evenly coated with the oil and continue stirring and cooking for about two to five minutes. Once your veggies have started to soften, add in the lentils. You can pour the entire pot in. Since it was uncovered, most of the water should have evaporated. Mix well and then add your diced tomatoes. Next, add your chili powder and your garlic powder. Add a quarter cup of ketchup. Add your brown sugar. apple cider vinegar and the Dijon mustard. Finally, pour in your tomato paste. Stir it all together and let it cook for another 10 minutes. Now I still thought that my sloppy joes looked a little bit thin, so I decided to add a little bit of cornstarch. To thicken a recipe, you can pour some cornstarch into a jar and add water. So I poured out about half of that cornstarch, I only used about one teaspoon. Add a little bit of water, swirl it together, and then add it to your mixture. You can do this with stews or soups or anything that's watery. And the cornstarch just helps make it a little bit thicker, which is nice for a sloppy joe since you want it to be able to sit on the hamburger bun. And there you go. Your sloppy joe is ready to serve on hamburger buns. I wouldn't put on too much as it is pretty sloppy. Now I'm going to be honest, when I was making this recipe, looking at it at this point, I was thinking, ooh, I don't know if this is going to be so good but I tasted it and it was delicious. It really tastes like a sloppy joe even though there's no meat. 
Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you enjoy your Sloppy Joes. We would love to get any pictures or messages about your experience. And here's the directions if you need it for later. Bye now.